every year, every year, I go to the supermarket and have this dilemma. Do you pick the luscious, delicious, look at that red color, American cherry? Or do you go for this, the Japanese cherry? What are you doing, little guy? The Japanese cherry, which has a, a more, I don't know, like a, like a jewel looking red to it. Even the stems are a different color. It's a very hard choice, but it might be made easier based on the price. How you doing everybody? Today we're going to be trying Japanese versus American cherries. Uh, I think in taste it's gonna be quite different, but in price, that's where things get a little bit different. And joining us is Kanai. Hi. And we're working on the postcard club for the postcard club members, by the way. All right, already we got people who are writing in, I like the American ones. Well, how do you know? Have you even tried the Japanese ones? What is most striking with the Japanese cherries is the color here. Look at it. We're gonna examine some of these because, I, you know, I've never seen these in the United States. I remember growing up as a kid, I loved cherries. I would just plop them in my mouth, like one after the other after the other. They're so sweet. But the Japanese cherry, it's different. And why? Why, why do these cherries, why, why do they make different kinds of cherries? Is it because Japanese people have different flavors? And how are these American cherries so big? Is it GMO stuff? Have they been groomed this way? It's hard to say. That's a beautiful cherry. It looks like it, most of the Japanese cherry, most of the cherries that come from America to Japan are from Washington State. And they have some amazing dessert cherries. Look at this thing. Can I just washed it? It's beautiful. So let's try these and see which one is better. And then we'll give you some information on cherries because this show has to be inf informational. <laughs> it's supposed to be informational. Yeah. Um, the price was different, right? Can I? Yes, but how much is that? Is this? Well, hold on a second. We have here <laughs> on the, we have here the, the label which says the Japanese wow. cherries at this amount, which is pretty crazy right here. Check it out. So the Japanese cherries just at this, this amount. Yeah, this was, was just about this. $5 for just this. This was $5 right here. And this, which is I think four times the weight. Mm. Actually, can you get the scale, can I, in the kitchen? This is about four times the weight. This was 10, about ten dollars, right? Yeah, I, I threw that away. It's about ten dollars for this this um, this platter of American cherries. We're gonna we're gonna check the weight to see it, but Japanese cherries are traditionally, I shouldn't say traditionally, are always more expensive. It's crazy expensive. Takaine. Yeah. The Japanese cherries are predominantly from Yamagata Prefecture. Yamagata is a uh, prefecture up in Tohoku, not so far from uh, Niigata. Let's see if we can fix the, there you go, a little bit better. Yeah, Yamagata, they make 70% of the Japanese mm. cherries in Yamagata. You can actually get a box of cherries with about 25 or, or 50 in there, and it can cost you several hundred dollars because the cherries are perfect. It's just like all the other fruits in Japan. You can get a mango that costs $5,000, mm -hmm. a melon that costs $25,000, although this year it was a lot less because not a lot of people went to the auction. It's too bad for the melon industry. But um, cherries are much prized in Japan. It started in the, in the Meiji era. These cherry, this cherry variety came uh, by a German trader named Richard Gertner. I hope I got that right. Richard Gertner, Richard Gertner introduced <laughs> cherries to Japan. So it came from the, Amer the Japanese cherry industry started from a German. And the cultivation was tested throughout Japan over several years, but most areas failed due to the lack of cherry knowledge. If you're not like, uh, you know, like Johnny Appleseed, this guy who went across America just throwing seeds all over the place, he'd probably in big trouble if Johnny Appleseed were doing that in the 21st century, okay? Just laws, Johnny. But back then, the Japanese didn't know how to cultivate cherries, so it stunk. It's sort of like the wine industry, but the Japanese wine is getting better. Mm -hmm. However, in 1876, when cherry seedings imported from countries including America and France were planted in Yamagata, 
by the Ministry of Home Affairs. Of course, it's the government that took charge over the cherry industry. Look at cherries instead of me because they're, they're a lot more beautiful than me. Maybe not Kanai, but... It was found that the climate and natural features perfectly match those needed for cherry pr pr production. So Yamagata Prefecture has the mm. perfect weather for cherry production, according to the uh, Ministry of Home Affairs. Because the prefecture relative, has relatively little frost and bears negligible damage from typhoons, cherry production succeeded. Following the success, private organizations and governments cooperated to spread cherries throughout Yamagata Prefecture, and Yamagata became the top producer of cherries. This variety is called the Sato Nishiki, and uh, it's most famous, and the farmer there was Eisko Sato from uh, Higeshine City in Yamagata, according to the information on the internet. But these, actually, these particular cherries are from Yamanashi, nice. Yamanashi, which is near Mount Fuji, which are not, not too bad. Let's weigh these things here. Hey there, we got some new members. Welcome aboard. Michael Hardy, an insider. All right, let's see how much this weighs. Turn the scale towards you because you can see it better. Yeah. The plastic is negligible. All right, that's 100 grams. Mm. So about 90, 90 grams with the, with the plastic there. So 90 grams for, 90 grams for $5? That's more expensive than Wagyu beef. That's crazy. <laughs> that's really, that's kind of crazy. All right. And this, this was $10. That's a good 434 grams or about, I'd say with the plastic out of it, 420 grams. So this is over four times the weight. All right, this is, all right, let's, let's just round it up. 100 yen equals $1, $6, $10, four times the weight. That's how crazy expensive Japanese cherries are. It's insane, right? But look at the colors. Now. The question is, seven minutes in this live stream, how's the taste? Kanai, you wanna go ahead and taste this? Let's try it. Sure. The cherry challenge is on. Nice. Look at that beautiful. This is the Japanese cherry, right? Yeah, we say sakurambo. 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 All right, try the sakurambo. Mm. All right, quickly, Tasty. quickly, quickly. American cherry. Go USA. Oh, there's a seed in there? Yeah, the tane. Go USA. Go USA. America, come on. Which one? America. Uncle Sam. Which one? Okay, gotta wait. Don't don't pressure the lady. Let her let her chew. <laughs> let her chew. Wow. Which one? Okay, wait, you're gonna tell me or you want me to try it first? You need I time? Can tell. I can tell. Okay, tell us which one. Um, actually, I like Japanese sakurambo normally. I like Japanese sakura, Japanese cherry mm. more than American cherry. She didn't pay for any of these cherries, but, by the way. But listen, okay. but this time, this American cherry is sweeter. Sweden than this. Go America! America so, wins! Today, I like this one. Is it because of the pressure I gave you? Was no, it, no, no, no. Or no, the but crazy no, eyes? No. <laughs> but normally, what? I like uh, Japanese sakurambo, Japanese chili, yeah. because it's softer. Softer? Mm. I, I, didn't, I never even considered that to be a criteria, the softness of the cherry. Interesting. It's softer and... Uh, it's sweet, but this American cherry you bought it. Yeah, it's actually very sweet. Yeah, because it's I. Good one. That was ten bucks for that little Washington is cherries. It from America? And Jim is from Washington. Jim, you send us some cherries, please. Hey, where is it from America? Yeah, America. Wow. Uncle Sam sent these. You can try. Yeah. All right, we're gonna give this a try here. If you like luxury fruits, click the like button. Because if, if this doesn't get like a thousand likes, I'm not doing any more luxury fruits. Forget it. It's not worth it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm always going to do it. Let's try it here. I'm going to start with the American cherry uh, because I'm American. And she started with the Japanese cherry because she's <laughs> Japanese. All right. Mmm. Mm. 
Okay, I got it. You got it? Alright, okay, I got it. Tell me, tell us. I got it. Deep consideration. Don't look at that. It's nasty. <laughs> Queen of Tacos! These cherries have been brought to you by Queen of Tacos. Uh, thank you. The the American cherries, um, they're a little bit harder. When you bite into them, there's a crunch to them. I like that. There's some tension with the skin. These are softer. The The first thing I notice when I compare the two cherries is that this, these are smaller. Mm. Each one is smaller. And I, I don't, I, I prefer the bigger ones because there's more biting to it. I don't know. It's It might just me or that it could be genetically modified cherries. I don't know. But they do come from Washington State. They, they, these are obviously sweeter. Obviously sweeter. Mm. Um, they're, they're, but you know what? The thing is with this cherry, there's something different about the taste of it. It, it has a, a better balance. These are so sweet. These cherries, according to Buy Colored L, these are obese cherries, I guess. Is that a category? I've never heard of the obese. These are softer, but there's something sophisticated about the taste. Um, these could be GMO too. I really don't know. Um, Japan doesn't have a lot of, of GMO stuff, but um, they have not as sweet of a taste. It's just different. There's a different acidity to them. Mm. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. Really? Look, it's shining. It, well, it's because of the, the sunlight. No. Well, it's not going to shine in the dark. Oh, look, there's somebody trying to light. Mm. All right. That's pretty nasty. That's like showing what? you. I don't know. I just want to show inside the collar. Oh it's like showing boogers or something. That's so you can see the color of the fruit is different. This is something that I, I didn't think about. We just plucked them in our, our mouths, right, can I? Mm hmm. But the, f sorry, JKO Adventure said, ooh, sorry. <laughs> so I, I kind of bit this open and I want to expose the guts. It looks more like a grape. Do you see that? This is the most interesting part of the cherry. The cherries here have, are totally different on the inside. This one looks, yeah, like a mini tomato or something, right? So for me, sorry about it. I, it shouldn't look like a booger. Ah. Totally different, right? Mm. So, there's that. The inside of the color is is completely different. It's a different acidity as well. The American cherries are more acidic. I can, I can taste it. Whoa! Don't get down, sofa. Yeah, I can taste more of the acidic uh, of the American cherries. Mm. This is a different acidity level. I think the Japanese cherries are also softer on your stomach, but I'm gonna tell you this, okay? Like I drink red wine sometimes uh, because I think that the red wine has some sort of properties that's better than white wine. And color is important. And this color, this, this super deep red, I think is good for the body. It's just a gut, just a gut feeling. Cherries are the perfect uh, dessert yeah, tannins is the word, right? I think there's some tannins in here. That's why people in Washington State, they're in pretty good shape, I think. I don't know. Mm. I've never been there. I'm just taking a guess here. But it is amazing to see um, the difference in the color. And just to, just to think that the Japanese cherries look like mm. grapes inside, I, I didn't expect that. Hey, did you try... Have you ever tried uh, sakurambo cherry from Yamagata? Sato Nishiki? Yeah, I've tried the Sato Nishiki. Damn, they're, they're it's, very... It's very, very sweet. They're, it's a different kind of sweetness. It's, yeah, it's really good. These Washington cherries are more like tarty, like a tart sweetness to it. I don't know. It's um, I like them both, but mm. I have to say probably, yeah, American cherries, I'm very patriotic mm -hmm. when it comes to my cherries. And apples. I like Jap I like Japanese apples, but American apples are really good too. Um, KS Spray Dad. K Spray Dad. Welcome as a traveler. Get a new traveler. That's awesome. Trickress is here. Kanai equals sweeter than cherries. 
Treacherous. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> what did? What does it mean? <laughs> I don't know. It's nice to see Trekkers again. Long time no see Trekkers. Yeah, Trekkers is nice. By the way, if you are a traveler, you have access to emoji. Shio Kanai. Kanai has not seen this yet. Shio, can anyone show Kanai the Kanai emoji? Kanai she, emoji? Yeah, I made a Kanai emoji. She doesn't even know. It's pretty kanai crazy. Kanai emoji? Yeah. <laughs> there, look, look. <laughs> Look, that's Carrie Larson. It's oh. all like Kanai emoji. <laughs> Brendan Walker's got a Kanai emoji for the. But you got that. You got the thumbs Jeez. up for the, the Ben and Jerry's. Oh, Look wow. at everyone's got them. Oh Look, my oh my gosh. <laughs> Nasha Broad went crazy with that one. You put heart before. Yeah, I put some me. hearts in there. I figured <laughs> it, it's not just me. Like people wanted the hearts. This you, is so UFO funny. Bob. UFO Bob, how dare you put that mask there? That's the two wow. should not be put together. That's a new one, by the way. The uh, the John funny. mask. Wear your masks. Yeah. Yeah. So in general, I wanted to keep the stream really short, everybody, just to share a little bit with you um, because I bought these here. Um, American cherries versus Japanese cherries. Which one do you think that you would like based on our description? Do you have any questions on the description? Was there something that you think that we didn't miss? Mm. Jared Davies, welcome to the Travelers. Is, it, is there anything that you think, any questions that you have? I like both. Yeah, I like both too, but if you have to pick one, that's the question. Which one would you pick? I can't pick. Jacob says neither. The Washington Cherries wins to me. A lot of people are saying, I have a sweet tooth, so American. Mm. Mm. Hey, Shane. Shane is now a traveler. Welcome. The firmness of it, yeah. J King Wong is here. Just got the notification, <laughs> King. I'm so sorry. Notification just went out now. American Scratchy says American. Dad is fat. Uh, sour cherries are, are better than cherries. That's true. That's true. Um, I was looking at the statistics here. Russia produces the most sour cherries. In the United States, yeah, yeah in the United States, most sweet cherries are grown in Washington State, which are the ones that come, from, come to Japan. Uh, California, sometimes we get California cherries. Oregon, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Those are the places with the sweet cherries. Important sweet cherries cultivars include the Bing cherry. Ooh, sounds like a Microsoft surf that surf search engine. The Bing cherry, the Ulster cherry, the Rainier cherry, Brooks cherry, Tulare, Tular cherry, and King cherry, and the Sweetheart cherry. Probably Sweetheart cherry sounds really nice. Wow. Both Oregon and Michigan provide light colored Royal Anne or Queen Anne type of cherries. That's interesting. And the Maraschino cherry, which is used in cocktails comes from Oregon and Michigan mostly. Most sour cherries, called tart cherries, are grown in Michigan, followed by Utah, New York, and Washington. Sours include Nanking and Evans cherries. That's interesting. I, like, I didn't know there were so many varieties of them. And uh, there's a national cherry festival, including the making of the world's largest mm. cherry pie, and I love cherry pie. That's actually a reference to Revenge of the Nerds, 1984. Specific regions of northern Michigan known for tart cherry production is referred to as Traverse Bay region. Sweet cherries. John Lott had his hair locked down. The hair is it needs to go. It, after I get out of the shower, it looks like that guy from Back to the Future, yeah, the mad scientist. Hair. Yeah, it's really starting to puff out. It's really bad. I should... That's... Keep the fort down here. Shane has now upgraded to Insider. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Turkey leads in sweet cherry production. Incredible. America is number two. Turkey produces, I think it was over 20% of the world's cherries. And I've never had a Turkish yeah, cherry. Turkey. I had no idea. America produces 330,000 tons. Wow. Turkey produces 445,000 tons. Iran, Spain, Italy, Chile, Romania, wow, mm. Uzbekistan, Russia, and Greece round out the top 10. Japan isn't even there. The world produces 2.25 million tons of cherries. Not enough. I can eat most of those if I had the mm. chance. I could eat myself through a ton of cherries. I, I'm pretty sure I could eat, eat, eat my way through a cherry pie. Black cherries are best in the USA. Would these be considered black cherries? Because they are very deep. How black do black cherries get? We have never had black cherries in, uh, I've never seen 
black cherries in, in uh, Japan. We have uh, these deep red cherries and we have the Japanese cherries mm -hmm. and maybe a couple other varieties of Japanese cherries, but we've never seen like black forest, black cherries. They're, they're very mm -hmm. famous in Germany, the black forest cake and, and things like this. Darker than that. Wow. Sweet. Mm. I like to take the pits and put the trash can across the room and try to throw them in the trash can. But I miss more than not and she doesn't get happy. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't like my... And she doesn't feel excited when I make it in the trash can. It's, an, it's expected. It's when I miss, I hear, I hear about it. <laughs> if someone else who does, does, does this too, who does this too. Uh, Kazuko English. Same? Yeah, Earth Grudge Fear. Yeah. He does the same thing. Strawberries next time. Thanks guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Click the like button if you want to see more luxury fruits. Thanks for hanging out with us. These live streams are a little longer. There's been complaints. Why can't you make the live stream short? It's because like half of the people just got the notifications. It's true. Aww. Brenda's here as a traveler. Welcome, Brenda. How awesome is that? Yeah. All right, guys, enjoy the uh, emoji. Thanks so much for signing up for the memberships. We'll be back with another live stream, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I'll try to give you a heads up. Patreon is where they all go. But I'll see you later. See ya. Guys, you're chili. Yeah, show cherry for the last 20 seconds. Oh, gosh, where do we get cherry pie, Kanai? I want to get some cherry. Well, it's too close. This is like Godzilla size. Whoa.